David and I met when we were both corporate attorneys working in a large Boston law firm. We moved out to Ithaca and we fell in love with the area. Upstate New York is at the crossroads of natural beauty and history that stretches back to the Revolutionary War. But today, due to the area's massive shale deposits, it's now at the epicenter in a battle against fracking. This whole area was targeted by the gas drillers for leasing before people really knew what fracking was all about. And it was sold as energy independence and the patriotic thing to do. I was one of those unfortunate people who signed a gas lease. The first well would have been two miles down the road. The truck traffic, the pollution, everything would have visited this farm. For it to be even marginally economically productive, you have to drill a very, very large number of wells. You're pumping that rock down there. Or you're fracturing the rock above it. You're fracturing the rock below it. Every one of those holes is an environmental risk. It's not just gas. There are other things down there, heavy metals, radioactive material, methane. For us to say there won't be any repercussions is absurd. And that was just something I couldn't imagine happening here in Ithaca. So shortly thereafter, horror turned to resolve and David and I decided that we were gonna stay here and see this fight through. So we started looking at what sort of local land use laws could a town use against drilling. And the consensus was that local governments were powerless. But while you couldn't regulate the industry, you could simply say no. During their extensive research, Helen and David Slotje discovered a legal solution called Home Rule. This right to ban fracking came out of the state constitution, and this was an incredible power for local communities. So they began a petitioning drive, and communities from all across the state wanted to know, how do you do this? We spent thousands of hours working for free for these towns. As a result, there's over 200 communities that have taken action to use their home rule authority to protect their towns. But Helen's efforts did not come without risk. The industry members would ridicule us. They would follow us out to our cars at night to convince us that we needed to stop. We weren't going to stop. I welcome them to sue me. She changed the paradigm of human interaction with the oil and gas industry. As citizens, we have the right to say no. Though these local fracking bans were a remarkable achievement, Helen's focus now extends beyond New York State. Sue the U.S. government. You have to have all sorts of actions challenging the system itself. Victory is always sort of one step ahead of us, and there is still a lot of work to be done. So we're not giving up. Go ahead, bring it on. For Outstanding Environmental Achievement in North America, the 2014 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Helen Slotje, Ithaca, New York.